You guys have been asking for this and I've been wanting to give it to you guys so bad, man. So welcome to episode one of How to Eat Booty. Okay, no, but on a serious note, like when it comes to eating booty, booty eating gang, how you guys doing, man? What's good with y'all, Snake Gang? I hope you guys are all having a great day. Hope your week's going good, man. We just got done updating VIP a couple, like what, beginning of this week? <sighs> Them testimonials coming out on my Instagram. Check that out, Instagram right here. If you guys wanna see how VIP is doing lately with that whole new update where I'm showing you my entire strategy and having markups and live streams and Look at them testimonials, man. Them boys are eating, brother. They're insane. Other than that, I really don't have much to say. I just want to get into this little video about risk management. Kind of just go over everything. Show you guys. Ooh, shoot. Show you guys how I use risk management, my risk rewards, all that good stuff. I'll show you some charts. <laughs> Damn. And we'll pretty much just go from there. With all that being said, support has been unreal. I love you guys, man. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Like for more. Always comment suggestions that videos you want to see. That way I can get those out for you. And um, don't call me nothing about no Post Malone because I don't, I don't, I don't play that, man. Come on. All right, guys. So let's go over some risk management and you know, kind of just show you some charts and everything, and show you how everything's done. So. First and foremost, I do want to say risk management is probably one of the number one things you can ever learn with Forex and it has to do with your mentality a lot. The mental aspect of Forex is very important and being able to control risk and handle risk is going to be pretty much what puts you over all the other traders. Okay, When it comes to risk management, I think one of the biggest things for me personally and the way I teach is risk to awards. Okay, If you have a good risk to reward system and you let your profits get hit, then you're gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? So let's say you have a 20 pip stop loss and a 100 pip take profit. If that stop loss gets hit three times and then you win once, right? You just win one trade with a 20 pip stop loss, 100 pip take profit, you're gonna be up 40 pips. Three losses, one win and you're up 40 pips. That's pretty good guys, that's really good. Especially if you have a kicking ass strategy like I teach, then it's gonna be really good. And no, I'm not trying to get you to join VIP. All my free videos show a lot of strategy stuff that you guys can use, such as the break and retest, the um, support resistance methods, all those things that I show you guys, they're perfect for this, this risk to reward management. You know, it's just, it's just very simple, okay? So let's go over like right here what I see, okay? So perfectly, you can pretty much see I have a zone marked up, right? Look at this support. Look at all this support that has formed right here. I mean, wow, that's a lot of support. Over and over again was there support being made, okay? But the price respect the support in this area. Now, that's the question, okay? Respected. Boom, disrespected. Broke through that support, but what did it decide to do? It decided to break through and come back up to retest that support as a resistance. Very simple strategy, guys. It broke through a support, retested that support as resistance, you just get in. And why is this little strategy so perfect for you know risk to rewards? Why is it so perfect? Watch, okay? So we get in a short position when we see these rejections. And actually, I wanna show you something else really quick, just a little bonus for you, okay? If you take your Fibonacci from this little red candlestick, okay? Boom, ooh, to the bottom of that push. We also have a rejection to that 618 and that .50 zone. Right? So double confirmations now. Now we have two confirmations, okay? If we go short off of these rejections, where can we have our stop loss? We could simply have our stop loss above all of this support, just like that, because we know that if price breaks that support and continues to the upside, that price is probably gonna keep going up because it just broke a pretty, I mean, that's a pretty major support, and it just broke through it and closed up there, it's not, it's not coming back. It's not coming back. So we'll just take our little, you know, 13 pip stop loss. But where are we gonna target our take profit? Well, overall, I see a couple different places we can take profit at, okay? First of all, we can just take profit here because this is a support zone. So we could just have our take profit set to there, okay? Or we could have our take profit at the bottom of this channel because overall we see price is in a channel. We rejected the top of a channel and now we're breaking down below. So that could have been our target was the bottom of this channel. Yeah, it might take a little while to get there, but we would have had a one to seven four ratio, okay? One loss is the equivalent, I mean one gain 
is the equivalent of seven losses, okay? Very easy, very simple. But we of course would have targeted this area first, which is a what? Or we come up here and look at that. We target this a first zone, it's a one to three, okay? Where do I have it? The bottom right here. Yeah, it's about a one, it's a one to two and a half ratio. So you could pretty much win two or three times um, or lose two or three times and then win once and be broken even. So it's a good ratio to have, one to three. It's very good. I, I, I would recommend one to three minimum, but if you can get one to like a seven, then oh my God, that's beautiful. And it's gonna probably work out because look at the top of the channel's already been rejected. Look at this major support being rejected. rejected. This thing ain't coming back. Okay, look how long it took to come back. It did, it came back, but look at that. It came back just to reject this channel. So we could have looked for another entry right here. Okay, I know I'm not, Supposed to be showing you all this. I'm showing you, show you risk management, but I'd like to teach you guys everything because I'm a helpful guy. Okay, just don't call me Post Malone. But um, shoot, it's that simple, guys. Risk to reward is that simple. Now let me show you guys one more example before I send you on your way to back test and start to apply this stuff. But let's see. Let's see if I can find just a quick little setup with a risk to reward that I want to use. Let's see. Okay, and you know, risk reward is so important, guys. It's so important. It's probably the biggest thing that you can really have in your arsenal is a good risk to reward and letting your things hit take profit or stop loss because, hey, if you just let your, your trades hit stop loss all the time, but you won't let it hit take profit, you're never gonna be successful. You gotta let that thing hit take profit. You can't just say, I'm up 13 pips. I kinda want this $1.30 or this 10 bucks. I gotta just take it. I gotta just take it out. But when it goes to hit your stop loss, you're not gonna take it out like, oh, I'm just gonna take my, my $1 loss. No, you're gonna let it hit your stop loss because I know you, so just stop doing that. That's another huge key that I can tell you guys. And holy shit, USDJPY is ugly. Let's draw my Fibonacci from the bottom of this wick because this is where that green push occurs. Boom, beautiful rejection. This is my gold zone on a little support as you can see. Just beautiful, okay? 0.5618 rejections. So we could have easily got in with a long position, right? Okay, well, we were gonna target, okay? Stops are just gonna be below this little support because if price breaks that support, we don't really wanna be in it anymore, so we'll have a little eight pip stop loss, okay? Take profit is gonna be what? What do you think take profit should be? Of course, it's gonna be right here, but why? Let me explain to you why take profit would be here, okay? Boom, we have a zone, right? We have a little support, or resistance zone, I'm sorry, right? So just target that zone. I'm giving you guys the whole spiel. This ain't even risk management. I'm giving you guys risk management and setups and everything like that. Look at the risk to reward on this, one to five. One to five, so you're telling me if I would have lost there, I would have lost eight pips, but if I would have won like I did, it would have been 42 pips. So now I can go and look for more setups like this and lose four times in a row. Wow, that's risk management for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this small little video. I just wanna say I'm sorry I haven't really been as active as before. Man, things have been just life. Life is real, okay? So I don't want you guys to think like, um, I'm just chilling, I don't really wanna do this anymore. No, I love you guys more than anything, man. But life is in, is, there's real life out there and I have to deal with it. So I can't just, um, you know, pretend like everything's cool when, you know, everything's not really that great right now. But it's all good. You know I love you guys. Go back test this, man. Make me proud. The VIP students are making me proud of shit every day. It's ridiculous, so. Love to see that, man. I wanna see you guys succeed. I don't care if you pay me. You don't gotta be in VIP. Just take what I'm showing you for free and make something out of yourself with it. That's all I want for you guys, man. That being said, comment some suggestions and I'll see you guys on my next video.